Infectious diseases. Infectious diseases spread by infectious agents. Let us first discuss these agents in detail. Infectious agents. There are a diverse range of microbes. These can be grouped into four main categories. That is bacteria, fungi, protozoa and algae. The disease causing pathogens may be single cellular or multicellular organisms such as worms. Let us study some examples of disease causing organisms. As we know, virus is responsible for causing common cold, influenza, dengue fever and AIDS. Diseases like typhoid, cholera, tuberculosis and anthrax are caused by bacteria. Many common skin infections are caused by different kinds of fungi. Protozoan microbes cause many familiar diseases such as malaria and kala azar. Intestinal worm infections as well as diseases like elephantiasis are caused by different species of worms. Each group of infectious agents has its own specific characteristics like the virus live inside the host cell, divide in these cells and get multiplied. They use the host cell machinery for its multiplication unlike the bacteria. But taxonomically, all bacteria are closely related to each other. It is clear from this that a drug used to kill a bacterium would be effective against other members of the group but would have no effect on viruses or fungi. Let us understand the mechanism of action of an antibiotic. These antibiotics act on the biochemical pathways. The bacteria have a cell wall for its protection. The antibiotic penicillin blocks the bacterial processes that build the cell wall. As a result, the growing bacteria become unable to make the cell walls and die easily. Viruses do not use these pathways at all. And that is the reason why antibiotics do not work against viral infections.